part of the same sentence for five years and um, an adult prison. Um, this happened when I was working during the summer, last summer. Um, he's not out of the house because I have no place to bring him, you know, any um, program. I have him apply for a school um, employment, you know, a summer job. And um, he was not accepted because they cut the funds. Um, last year, they cut a lot of funds for the kids, especially for the teens, and he was not able to be at any. And so he snuck out of the house. He went to a friend's house, and they were playing with BB guns, which is not a, it's not a weapon. It's not a gun, you know, a real gun, but it can do a lot, a lot of damage. Um, he accidentally shot a, a friend, and she's not serious hurt. Um, she's still, you know, doing her thing and going around. But my son is being sent into a Yale for that. And, um, and this happened on February 13th that he was sentenced and sent away. I couldn't even give a kiss because in the court they don't let you even hold him or hug him. And the next morning that I went, it was Valentine. That was the saddest Valentine for me and my family, for my daughter. She cries every night, and I asked him, how you doing? He was hungry, he had a migraine headache, he suffered from migraine. He still, he still don't ask guard or nurse for nothing because he's afraid that he might get something else instead of what he's looking for. Um, right now, he's wearing some raggedy sneakers. I can't even bring him money because um, they make the system so hard for us to like get involved in the visit and get you know things going for the kids. And when I asked a question to one of the guards in the front desk, I said, "Well, can you just give me information? How can I bring money to my son? And you know he's suffering there." He said, "Let him suffer for a little bit more." Mm. You know, and the condition of that a medicine is really awful. If you go to the waiting room, it's very nasty, dirty, and I cannot imagine inside. My son doesn't have even a haircut. Every time I look at him, he looks depressed every day. But I try to make him light up when I say, God bless you. You're my son, and I love you, and I miss you. I know that I had an empty, an empty slot in doing a program, and I don't understand where they had this idea that bring, sending the kids to jail is just going to help them. No, this is not going to help them. Mm -hmm. My son, when he was, he was got caught up in the court system and put away for a little bit and then we had to wait for a trial and everything else. Um, he was accepted to participate in a program that which New Haven provided last, last summer for um, to receive a computer, and he missed the opportunity. And, you know, do you want to see our kids getting training, getting, getting education, getting programs, or you want to see them in jail with adults? My son's only 15. He just turned 15 the 11th of this month. He's been away for two weeks and a half, and he hurts me every night. I'm working, going to school. I don't know how I'm doing it. And every night, it's so empty in the house. I want to call his name, and I can't. I fix this room, and I look at his room every night, hoping that someday he's going to be with me soon enough. So my thing is, don't put the kids away no more. Let's bring it to programs, youth programs. You know, if you want to give him some type of punishment, then you have the youth program that can teach him how to be a better person for the future. Don't send him to jail.